Hello, I'm Jessica Amir for the Finance News Network and with me today from Aventus Medical is Vice President of Marketing and Operations, Robin Randolph. Hi Robin, lovely to meet you. Oh, and you too Jessica, thanks for having me. Robin, thank you so much for joining us from Colorado in the US. But first up, for those who don't know, just tell us what you're doing at Aventus and secondly, how the company is currently positioned. We have a new treatment for obstructive sleep apnea. Sleep apnea is when a patient falls asleep at night and stops breathing. It's a massive problem affecting 34% of the men and 17% of the women. It's commonly treated with a medical device called CPAP, which blows air through a tube, through a mask, into the patient's airway, keeping the airway open at night. While it's effective, it's not easily tolerated. And we know that about 80% of the patients that have been diagnosed with obstructive sleep apnea are no longer in care because they simply cannot tolerate that treatment. And if the patient can't wear CPAP and they don't seek alternative care, then they're putting their life at risk. So Robin, what's the process that patients go through if they want to get access to an Aventus device? Do they need to just simply see their general practitioner? I'm really glad you asked that because unfortunately, many patients don't know where to go next once they can't tolerate CPAP. The O2 vent device does require a physician order, and then a qualified dentist scans the patient's mouth and customizes the perfect fit of the device. The first step is to see the primary care physician or return to the sleep physician that first diagnosed them to discuss the options. But also to help with this need of education and drive awareness, we recently just launched a new website called Awake Express. Awake Express is a, a site that a patient can go to and go through a series of questions and determine if the O2 vent might be an alternative treatment for their sleep apnea. Now, Robin, you're heading up the company's operations in North America, and you just released an announcement about progress in the region. Can you just talk us through today's announcement and also what it means for your overall strategy? Well, we really promote a collaborative care between the sleep physician and the dentist. And today we just announced the successful launch of one of our new business models that's rolling out, first of all, in North Carolina. What we've done is connected the dots, or the docs in this case. So we've teamed up with Dr. Quay, who is a medical director for the largest sleep management services company in the U.S. And he has three or four sleep labs there in North Carolina. Also, what is unique to North Carolina is there is a very large dental group that consists of 49 physicians, Lane Dentistry. And so why Dr. Quay provides the expert diagnosis, Lane Dental provides the scanning and the fitting, and the patient returns to the dentist and also follows up with the sleep physician to make sure that they're well supported. So you've just launched this new model in North Carolina, as you mentioned. Do you see this being something that you'd roll out across the rest of the United States? Yes, it's one of the core models. And in fact, we're in discussions now across the U.S. The most important thing about this technology is that the sleep physicians look at it and they get it right away because they understand how the airway works. And we have an airway that's integrated into the O2 vent and it works in conjunction with the patient's own physiology for a strong treatment outcome. You recently also launched a new generation product here in Australia and Canada, the Optima. What's the take up been like for that? And when do you expect to see that in the US? Well, we've had great feedback and uptake on the new generation of O2Vent, and this device is called Optima. The product was only launched in January in Australia and in Canada. Right now, what we're doing is educating all the dentists and sleep clinicians in Canada, and we expect to see momentum building in the market in both Australia and Canada over the coming quarters. In the U.S., unfortunately, we won't have Optima in the market until it receives 510K clearance from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. In the meantime, we're selling the original O2 Vent products in the U.S. under the model that we've recently talked about today. And we expect ourselves to really lift off significantly in the U.S. once we've got that Optima in this market. And that's going to occur mid-year. Overall, though, there's a load of momentum building across our stakeholders, all of our networks, and across all the key markets. It's really an exciting time for us. Brilliant. Robin Randolph, thank you so much for your time and best of luck from here. We look forward to watching you progress. Thanks very much, Jessica.